Good morning, everyone. We are back for another installment of Hikeography. It's been way too long. And sorry, I'm going uphill. So I'm definitely out of breath already. Um, but it's been way too long for one of these. Between COVID and hot summer months, and if I had to be honest, the thought of carrying this pack really has made me not hike as much. Oh yeah, yeah. I will be back when I get to the top. Okay, I'm back, I think anyway. Almost at the top, I think. Um, we are at Scunamook Mountain, a place I love, but they closed down two of the access trails because they cross rail tracks and the MTA is now ticketing anyone who's caught crossing. That's a bummer. This is one of my top three state parks to hike in within you know driving distance or day hike so it's heartbreaking to see the that my favorite trail was closed but there's another access point that i'm exploring today to hopefully see if it's any better or any worse so i have three goals uh the first of which is getting back to hikeography um, I have not done a hikeography vlog in quite some time um, for various reasons that we'll get into. But I definitely want to try hiking and photography again. Um, so what are those reasons? First and foremost, COVID struck in the spring, so I did not want to be in the trail. Uh, secondly, summer, it's no fun hiking in the summer when it's 85, 90 degrees. So I did mostly small, easy hikes. And three, I became the answer to my worst fear that buying a new camera with multiple lenses would turn me into a photo taker first and a hiker second. And that is exactly what happened. I was not looking forward to the weight of a 30 pound pack going on an eight or 10 mile hike when in the past I could get away with 15. So fall season is coming up and I really needed to test out my enjoyment with the heavier pack on a longer distance day hike. So that's why we're here. Hopefully we'll also capture some really cool footage across the um, the ridge we're hopping to. Scunamook Mountain up in New Windsor. It overlooks, it's not exactly a uh, private looking place. There, every viewpoint has structures for sure, but it's really awesome up here. Um, especially the ridge where you just walk over, you know, miles of exposed bedrock that winds in between lots, lots of those pitch pines. Uh, very cool place. Um, and there's some great vantage points overlooking Storm King Mountain. You can see the Catskills in the distance. It's really quite lovely. So that's what we're hoping to capture here. Well, I am the Greenhorn photo taker for a reason. I'm doing my best not to show my fury on camera. Um, I just realized that I left my battery at home and have no ability to take pictures other than with this GoPro or with my cell phone. 
So yeah, I've got all my gear just to weigh me down <laughs> and nothing, absolutely nothing I can do with it. And why did this happen? I blame Sony. The battery in this camera is amazing. I go for days without having to charge it. Um, and I put it in the charger to top it off last night. Never took it out. And I haven't been carrying a spare because I've never needed it. So, the heck with you, Sony. Your engineering has ruined my day. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is really great. If only I had a camera. So I'm not gonna walk you through composition with my cell phone, but I'm gonna stop here, take a picture, see what we can grab. Um, luckily, uh, my old cell phone was showing signs of wear and tear and was no longer being supported by Google as of this fall. So I got one of their um, Pixel 4a's. So let's see, let's see what the camera does. So if I had my zoom lens, I would zoom in. This is Storm King Mountain, I believe. Right onto Storm King and look for that Hudson River underneath. Oh my gosh. On top of this, my gimbal has been really struggling today and automatically shutting off. So it's been a great day all around. But yeah, here with the Hudson River right below it, Storm King zoomed in with that haze and atmosphere, that would have been sweet. I don't see what's strange about this tiny bubbles hang above me. It's a sign that someone loves me. I can hardly stand upright in my head upon the light. I have faith but don't believe it. It's not there enough to leave it. Everything I love is on the table. Everything I love is out to see I have only two emotions Careful fear and dead devotion I can't get the balance right With all my marbles in the fight I see all the ones I went for All the things I had it in for I won't cry until I hear Cause I was not supposed to be here Everything I love is on the table Everything I love is out to see I'm not alone I'll never be Into the bone I'm ever green I'm tired of freezing I'm done when it gets so late I forget everyone Somewhere to stay Don't think anybody I know is away Calm down, it's alright Keep my arms the rest of the night When they ask, what do I see? I say, bright, white, beautiful heaven hanging over me Given. I'm having a blast. The heck with photography. I'm a hiker. It is just so amazing out here. Oh. The tension of that walk in knowing I had no battery is floating off my shoulders now. Um, yeah, what a great place. And I don't mind up here that the scenery doesn't change. You know, the same type of scenery. Because it's my favorite type of scenery. 
it is really amazing up here. And incredibly, um, or maybe not incredibly since the access was closed, there's nobody up here. It's a Sunday and this park should be, you know, teeming with hikers. It's a beautiful Sunday. Arguably one of the best Sundays of the year for um, weather. But I think it's just a little bit, I don't wanna say difficult, right? But out of the way to get to this section of the park if you have to start on the west side, maybe. Or maybe I'm early enough and I'm still ahead of the crowd, but I'm going slow. So we are maybe a third of the way into the hike. Um, the views for Storm King were really awesome. Um, I took a couple of cell phone shots. I took a couple, or at least one panorama to see how that works. Um, I never loved the panorama software for Google. It's good, but not great. I think the iPhone is a little bit better for that. Um, but yeah, so far, really enjoyable. Lots of ups and downs in this trail. You know, um, even though you're on top of a ridge, like you're always climbing a stair or two as the rocks go up and down and you have to follow it. taken in Scunamunk in the past. These are not with the mirrorless. These are really mostly cell phone shots or with my old RX-10. Uh, but hopefully it shows you some of the beauty that's here. Um, truly one of my favorite destinations around the Tri-State area. Sorry for the wind noise. Um, great place to be. Okay, we are at the halfway point. Um, so we backtrack for maybe three quarters of a mile, half a mile, three quarters of a mile. And then we'll head back down and close the loop out from a different direction. Um, part of this is my favorite section of trail that I would typically ascend, but we'll now descend this area uh, with the reroute. It makes the loop slightly different. So I'm looking forward to that. I've never gone down this side and I'm sure it's a different feel. We might, yep, I think we will end it here for the day. I find myself not in a talkative mood. Um, and I think that's because I'm not talking photography. Uh, I have about three miles left to the trailhead. Um, and I don't know of any other incredible overlooks that we'd want to talk about. The trail is lovely. If there's good B-roll footage, I will be sure to put it up on the screen. Um, I did take a few other photos that I'm putting on the screen right now that, um, again, hopefully just shows you how great of a park this is. Um, especially if you come here in the fall. My goodness, there's so much of that low underlying brush that turns bright red. Uh, and that in combination with the, you know, the green uh, pine trees, stark, really great stuff. Okay, thank you very much for bearing with me. This was a struggle at times. Hopefully I can cobble together a cohesive story from this rambling and odd footage and no photography talk. Um, I think I can. Some of the GoPro footage, I'm sure, looks superb. Um, you know, for the terrain, not the GoPro. So maybe less talking this time will be a trend that we'll all enjoy more. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and tuning in. Um, 
Have a great day. I hope you did something on this Sunday that was just as mesmerizing as this. It is beautiful out. Uh, maybe top 10 day of the summer. Top 10 summer days for weather. Okay, thanks for watching. Get out and explore, and I'll see you next time. And look for that Hudson River underneath. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. My ho hum is killing me today. Come on. My effing Hoheim keeps on shutting off. Come on, Hoheim. Get with it. Oh, I'm Great day. I hope you did something on this Sunday that was just as mesmerizing as this. Um, it is Oheim. Oheim. What am I doing wrong? It is beautiful out. Um, maybe Yukiri insisted on giving Zara and her confederates over to the Oheim. If it could be done without Gabriella went on spooning tea. tea. I saw you. Oheim. So, we learned three things today. One, I'm an idiot. Two, I'm out of shape. And three, despite gear failure, I had a great time.